Hello everyone. So let's solve today's problem. Right view of binary tree. And in this problem, all we have to do is to return an answer vector in which we have to store the elements which are viewed if we look at the binary tree from the right side. So for example, if we look at the test case, this tree, if you look at it from the right side, we will only see this one, three, seven, and this eight. The rest of the elements get hided, will be hidden after the rest of the, after these elements like one, three, seven. So I have already demonstrated it here in which what we'll be doing here is first calculating the, this level of this tree and the answer vector which we have to return. So initially we will store, if we, if you visualize, you will know that the root node will always be visible from the right side or the left side, whether it is a left view or the right view, the root node will always be visible from either side of this binary tree. So root node will be stored in our answer vector. So what we'll do is first store this root node here. Suppose this is the answer vector. So first we'll store this one and we will make the right call because we have to collect the elements of the rightmost side. Okay, so this one gets stored, then we make a right call and we, we are at this three. Now what we'll do is we'll check if the so as soon as we make the right call, we will increment the level because we have we have increased the level of the binary tree. Yes. So we increment the level and then we check that if the answer size is equal to level. This means that the for example, let's take this one. Initially the answer size is the answer vector has the only element one. Right. And the level of our current node is one as well. So both are equal. So we simply put it into our answer vector. So one and three gets post. Now we again make the right call. So by increasing the level. So now the level is two and the answer size, answer vector size is two as well. So again, we will push the seven. Now, as soon as we have, we get a null value after making this again, the right call, we get the null node, right? We get null, so we return. So while returning, we'll then make a left call because there might be a case that there, the leaf node may not be at the right, on the right subtree, but might be on the left subtree. As you can see here, this this eight is present at the left subtree, but this is still included in our answer. So how are we going to handle this case? So what we'll do is, after returning from this call, we'll make a right call. We'll, after returning from right call, we'll make a left call because there might be a chance that there the element may be present at the left node. So, then we return. In this case, we have a null node. So we return here. Yeah, seven is already visited. So again, we return and we reach here this three. So while making the left call, we have the level one. So we increase the level and make the left call. So after increasing the level, we have level now two, but the answer vector size is three. So clearly three is not equal to, so this six won't be included in our answer. So again, we return and then return and we'll make the left call here. And as you can see, the level is one and answer yeah. vector size is three. So this two won't be executed as well. Means this two won't be included in our vector. So now again, we'll make the right call and the level and the answer vector size won't match. So we return 
then add this four this goes same and now add this four as soon as we make the right call we have the answer vector size three right and this four is at level two so when we make the right call we increase the level so our level becomes three and our answer vector size is three as well so we include this eight in our answer and as soon as we reach the null value means null node we simply return so that's what i did here so i have made first an answer vector then called this solve function which is a recursive function which will take my answer vector make changes in it and initial value of level is zero and the root node now as soon as we get a means as soon as our root gets null we simply return from this function now if the level is equal to the answer size we push it into the answer vector then we increase the then we are making the right call with increasing the level as well as we are making the left call by increasing remember to make the right call first because if you make the left call first in case you have in case you did the left call then you might have then you will have the right view of the the left view of the binary tree not the right one so make sure to make the right call first in order to get the right view so that's how i solve this problem so let's submit okay thanks